What's going on YouTube? Earth Power here with CVH. How's it going, everybody? And we have the first deck profile for the top 16 uh, here for you today. Foul Ooh. slash Forbos Control. Um, the second place finisher from, from last season with a little bit of a twist. Yeah, uh, even though it was uh, second place in the season one bracket tournament when Carl and I were seeding out season two, uh, we hadn't yet played the finals. And uh, we do think this is one of, if not the best control decks uh, in the game. So it wound up being our top seed for season two. It's a super versatile deck, and it seems to even more than Mana Burn, which is an absolute powerhouse, have a, a widespread of good matchups across the board. There really isn't. Besides maybe Mana Burn, a deck that it's like very highly unfavored against, it really holds its own against aggro strategies, rush strategies, tempo strats, other control decks it can easily outvalue with the fouls and the four bosses now. Um, and it's got a, you know, this solid finisher lineup of the Bulmedius, Bazagazeal, and T Cryptic Totem. Yeah, and, and a lot of those, uh, you know, where it gets its, I guess, quote unquote, good matchups just kind of across the board where it doesn't really have a bad one. It's just because this deck has the ability to kind of interplay every option. Like it is the epitome of a toolbox deck. We talked about it in season one. Um, you know, this list changes a little bit. Uh, we we uh, tried to gear it more towards what some of the guys overseas are doing with, um, they call it Forbos control uh, because they're playing the 50 card versions with four Forbos, uh, typically four done engine gate, and they're just completely cycling through their deck. Forbos grabs them anything they want, or Forbos grabs them done engine gate, which can then grab them, you know, the other half of the deck. So um, trying to slim this down to 40, we wanted to still kind of honor uh, what the overseas guys are doing with the Forbos decks, um, hence why we have three of them in here. We're still calling it foul. I think at the end of the day on the channel, this will always be uh, foul ego dot deck. Um, but we're playing with a lot more uh, fun cards, taking out Terra Horn for a couple of Dimension Gates. Uh, we swapped out the uh, finishing line that we had in Foul in Season 1, 2 Cryptic, 2 Baza, and tried to focus on more of a steady um, Bomidius um, uh, and give it that that kind of toolbox finisher where it can just kind of do it on its own if it needs to. Uh, playing fun cards like Ghastly Drain, um, just trying to have fun with the deck this time around, seeing as how well it finished last season. Uh, trying to add some spice to it and see uh, see what we can do with it this season. Yeah, uh, as with uh, in season one, we are playing with that forty card finish format that a lot of the other metas are not playing. So you know, some powerhouse plays like the Bronze Arm Tribe into turn four soul swap out of Forbos are not available to the deck, and that's a lot of the reason why Forbos is so powerful is being able to play four swaps with it. Uh, we have limited to two in our in our format, along with the Cranium Clamp limited to one uh, as the relevant uh, limits for this deck. It does nerf it a little bit, but the deck still does have an incredibly powerful late game with the ability to search for its spells from... I mean, you see the light section. You get your spells from the discard, from the deck, or from the mana. No matter where they are, you can replay them or find them. And that's what makes this deck so dang cool. Yeah, and the creatures are just threats on their own. So uh, some interesting spicy techs. Uh, we're, we're playing a lot more with Burst Shot this season. I think you guys will see that in the deck profiles to come over the course of the next couple of weeks as we get more into the top 16. Uh, but this deck plays the one of Mecha Dragon's Breath, uh, as because this deck, other than Baza, doesn't really have an answer to Petrova or just wide boards in general. Taking Blizzard out of this deck, um, you know, we wanted to focus more on the rush matchup so that it can have, uh, with with tempo decks and rush decks being a little bit more prevalent in this season and season two, we wanted to give it just kind of more of a shot against those decks. So burst shot is you know, shot for <laughs> pun intended. Um, but Mecha Dragon's Breath lets us kind of dictate and and play um, against those mana burn decks that can drop, you know, multiple uh, fortress shells, uh, multiple fouls, um, and give us something to just kind of wide clear a board that has a lot of uh, similar threats. Um, when they start to stack up, it lets the deck go a little bit wider uh, when it needs to. Yeah, I mean, if you can play 50 cards, if you're out there building this deck for a different format, yeah, play more cards, play the Burst Shots, play the Dragon's Breath, and play the Blizzard of Spears. Maybe throw in a Searing Wave, throw in a Crimson Hammer, you know, throw in a Holy Awe, throw in a Ghost Touch for when you want to search out a card to deal with your opponent's one card hand and you don't want to waste a clamp on it. Like, there's a lot of things that make a lot of sense when you can search your spells so effectively that we just don't have the space for. Um, yeah. So, you know, if you see this deck in future tournaments, expect the spell lineup to change because uh, the core of the light section makes all of the spells just so much more potent when you can get them right on time. Absolutely. 
So leave a like, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments below of this version of uh, Foul slash Forbost coming into Season 2. Uh, and you guys will see it up against the play-in winner, Fire Water Rush, uh, coming up uh, here in the next couple of days. So stay tuned, and we'll uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peach. Peach.